Imagine waking up every day to a personal assistant that briefs you on the latest updates, either news or blog updates, in an instant. Stay tuned to learn how to create your very own system that transforms daily syndicated content into automated audio updates, just like Jarvis on Marvel's Iron Man. All right, so we're going to go through a detailed walkthrough of this make scenario. If you don't yet have a make account, click the link right here. Go grab you one. You will get the free core plan by using this affiliate link for the first month. With the magic of post-production, I'm going to take a little break here in the video, and I'm going to play for you the result of the automation we're about to walk through. It is two minutes and six seconds long. You're welcome to jump ahead to the tutorial portion. Uh, and if you want to jump to this timestamp, That'll get you back into the tutorial if you don't want to listen to this entire video. Good day, Andy. Today is Tuesday, October 15th, and is the 289th day of 2024. Today's weather forecast indicates a high temperature of 58 degrees. The wind is blowing at 16 miles per hour from the northeast, with gusts reaching up to 30 miles per hour. Scattered clouds are expected throughout the day. Tomorrow's weather forecast will continue with similar conditions, featuring a high temperature of 58 degrees. Winds will remain consistent at 16 miles per hour from the northeast, with gusts up to 30 miles per hour in scattered clouds. Wednesday's weather forecast indicates a low temperature of 38 degrees and a high temperature of 63 degrees. Winds will be blowing from the south-southwest at approximately 8 miles per hour, with gusts reaching up to 17 miles per hour. The sky will remain clear throughout the day. Here are the latest blog posts from Zapier. Number one, the five best blog sites for building a successful blog in 2025. Blogging remains vital in the digital landscape, allowing content control and audience access. Discover the top five blogging platforms, wordpress.org, wordpress.com, Ghost, Wix, and Blogger, each offering unique features and pricing. Number two, why relying on AI content detectors is a bad idea. And what you should do instead, AI content detectors are emerging alongside AI content generators, revealing their limitations. Experiments show these detectors often misidentify human written text as AI generated, emphasizing the need for improved content quality over achieving a human score. Number three, how to automatically generate email summaries with Zapier and ChatGPT, streamline your email management with Zapier's ChatGPT integration. Summarize emails automatically in Slack or receive daily digests to stay organized and never miss important messages again. Optimize your workflow today. Have a great day, Andy, and make an eternal difference in someone's life. So we're going to start with the first module here, our trigger module, and you can see I've got the Zapier.com blog link in there. This is their RSS feed for the latest items in their news feed. So if I go here and I hit enter, you can see we have here's the first item and here's the title four ways to automate pandadoc with zapier there's the link to the page and here's the entire description of the article which makes it easy because we don't have to fetch that information from the website then i'm going to select the first rss item so what that means is we're going to retrieve three at a time and i think i just picked like 12 or so so it's going to run about four times during our testing phase without me having to do that step again Next, we have an article summary, and this is important because we need to take the information from that blog article, and we're going to narrow it down to a 30 to 35 word or a 15 second summary. I just want a quick overview of what that is and get the information so I can, you know, just kind of hear what Zapier is putting out on their blog. Just a note, we've got some prompts in here. If you if you're looking for those those are in my community. You can click here to visit my community. You also get this video about a week sooner in my community versus right here on YouTube. All right, next we're going to do, and I'm calling it the article counter. This is the increment module. And basically it's going to count. Every time a bundle goes through it, it's going to say one, two, three, four, etc. What I want to do with my output is I want to say, here's blog number one, and then it gives a summary, blog number two. So it's kind of a separator so I know how many this next step here is a filter. If I click right on one of those dots, you can see I'm saying the result exists. So when we run this, which we're going to do that here in just a second, I want to make sure that there's a result from this module so it goes through here for the report consolidator. So right here we're saying number and the we got the number from the article counter. 
So this is the this is the this is one article summary. So it's going to say number one, and then it's going to read the title, and then Jarvis is going to read that summarized result back here. So let's run this part of it now and see what we get. I'm going to unlink that. I'm just going to hit run once. Run anyway. Okay, so we came out with three, should be three links. Yep, three RSS feeds. And then we've got our three summaries. So here's a summary here that's nice and short, which is exactly what I want. I'm curious how many words that is. Let's see if ChatGPT is paying attention to my instructions. So it is. The word counter here says 33 words, and I'm saying between 30 and 35. So that's exactly spot on for what we want. So our out article counter uh, went one through three. And then our here's our output right down here. Here's, here's the entire output. So number one, how to use Canva, a beginner's guide. And then our description. Number two, here's the title, etc. So that is working perfectly. So that's going to be our summary in our audio file that we're going to output to Slack. Next, I also want to include the weather for the rest of the current day and for the next day. So what I've done here is I've, I've used the weather module. I'm going to use it twice. And I'm going to say get it today. And this is just relative to whatever day it is. And I'm getting it for Kansas City, Missouri. And then I'm getting tomorrow's weather for the same place. So this is, this is going to generate today and tomorrow's weather. This is an old module I don't need anymore. I'm going to get rid of that. So I've got a chat GPT here that takes the current weather information from today's weather and it writes it in a format that you might hear somebody on TV or the radio say. I wanted I don't want to just say high temperature or no, degrees. I wanted it to, to, to create sentences and make it conversational. So that's what this prompt does. And that's what this prompt does as well. There's a slight difference between these. On today's weather report, I did not include the low temperature. That's because I'm generating this at 7 a.m. and the low temperature was overnight when I was hopefully sleeping. So I don't really care about the low temperature. I care about the high temperature. And tomorrow I care about the low and the high temperature. So just a slight difference between the two. And then I'm sending all of this to 11 labs. And I've added some content around this. Good day, Andy. Today is, and I've got the date formatted here. So it's going to be uh, like Tuesday, what is today? Tuesday, October 15th, and is the uh, 289th day of 2024. I just added some more information in there. I like to know kind of where we are in the year and, and how much of the year is left. And then I've got the, here's my, here's my, uh, where I drop in my prompt for today. And what I've done here is I've done a replace. Here's a replace here. And I've said replace the degree Fahrenheit with degrees uh, because it the the 11 labs doesn't render the little degree sign and the F very well and then I've got another replace here that says um, change out MPH which stands for miles per hour in the US and 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 replace it with miles per hour so what it was doing is uh, you know the winds tomorrow are gonna be eight degrees and it went because mm -hmm, it thought MPH was a word so I'm just doing a replace on that. I'm doing the same thing down here for the uh, tomorrow weather forecast as well. And then I'm just checking to see if there's um, if there's any blog posts. Like this morning, there were no new blog posts from when I ran it yesterday. So what it does is it says if if the length of our report consolidator, all right, if this length is zero. This is an if then statement. If the length here is zero, is greater than zero, then say, here are the latest blog posts from Zapier. Do it. If there's not, if it doesn't, if it's not greater than zero, meaning there's no text there, it just says, sorry, there's no new blogs from Zapier today. And then I just have to do a, a close. I, I'm, I'm having some fun with this because I, I want the, I want the AI to sound like it's talking to me. So we're going to see uh, what that looks like. One last step here. And, I will say there's multiple ways to deliver this to yourself. Uh, you can send it in an email. I'm slacking it because the audio will play directly in Slack. And so it just makes it convenient to open up my phone, go to Slack and hit play. And this starts to play out for me and, and tell me what's going on for the day. And then I just given it a title here that says Zapier updates for, and you know, it gives a date which comes through on Slack. So that's how this scenario works. I'm going to hit run once. We're going to let that run and 
this will be the audio that you heard earlier in this video. I went back and inserted it on post. And while this is running, I would say check out my community from the link earlier in the video. You'll get automations like this a week earlier. You'll get all the blueprints. You'll get all the chat GPT prompts in my community, as well as you get multiple calls each week to help you build your make automations. So it's a really fun community and I'm really excited about it and everyone that's in there. So this is running through 11 labs right now. Let me just show you the 11 labs interface a little bit. And I use this to, to tweak the settings in the scenario. So I was able to put a, a script in here. Actually, the cool thing is 11 labs remembers your script. This is the script I used you know, like a month ago in here. And so it's still in here. And so this will tell you what model to use. So 11 multilingual V2. Uh, there's multiple language here, languages here, uh, 20, like 29 languages. And then this is where I set my stability. So the stability in the scenario in, the, in make, I set it to 0.5. And then my similarity, I set to 0.75. And then I also set this to Brian because I, it, Brian's got a great voice for kind of that Jarvis feel. Uh, you can choose the voice here. Um, I've even cloned my own voice. I didn't want to hear myself talk about this in the morning. So that that's where you can kind of get your, your settings figured out. And then back over here in make, you can just transfer those settings. So I've got Brian there. That's a pre-made voice. Uh, here's the 11 multilingual version two. And then down here, I've got my stability and similarity uh, settings. So those are, if you just do this from here, it might be a little confusing because some voices don't go with certain models. And so I would head over to the uh, 11 labs interface, figure all that out, and then put your information in here. Man, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've had fun building this and I love having that daily update each day on the, uh, the latest news from Zapier. I'd love to get the latest news from Make, but they don't have an RSS feed. So uh, Zapier will do for me. Getting that latest information and uh, getting my weather update just kind of starts the day with some information in my head. Thank you for watching. Again, check out my community if you want more help with make.com. You can also go to my website and get one-on-one co-building calls with make. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.